Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are doing fine. This is mathematics. In this lesson, we are going to look at five questions coming from 2023 GCE Paper 1. Please pay attention so that you understand everything step by step. All right? Let's begin with the first question. Evaluate. 3 to the power 2 plus 3 to the power negative 1 times 2 to the power 0. The number of marks, 2 marks. How do you get these 2 marks? Please, I want you to know that in this question, we have what we call the stem of the question. Evaluate. What does it mean? They are asking you to find the exact value of this exact value of this that is evaluation you are not simplifying you are not solving you are doing what evaluate that's the first point you should also consider the number of marks allocated two marks we are talking about two things the method and the answer so you have to provide correct method that will give you the correct answer, then we'll be able to give you this two marks. Let's start. Evaluate 3 to the power 2 plus 3 to the power negative 1 times 2 to the power 0. I have to remember the topic first. What topic is this? Indices. Others would want to call it index notation. Correct. The moment that comes into my mind, I will be able to know what to do. I will remember the laws of indices. That is what we are going to apply. So, we have 3 to the power 2, 3 to the power 2, plus 3 to the power negative 1. What does the law say? The laws of indices when you have a negative when you have a negative it means one over just the negative so in short i'm changing the negative power to a positive power so this negative just the negative it means one over then i'll write three this one will now remain a positive have you seen where the negative has gone it has disappeared. This negative of change from the negative power to a positive power. How? Negative means 1 over. I hope we agree on that. Times 2 to the power 0. What does the law say? Any number, any variable raised to the power 0 is always equal to 1. So this one gives us 1. 3 to the power 2. I see that the law says 3 to the power 2 means 3 times 3 not 3 times 2 please all right don't make such mistakes so it is 3 times 3 and what answer are we getting it is a 9 for well, some of you when you see the exam you exam is just a test okay so 3 times 3 is 9 someone would go and write 6 no. So this one will give us a 9. Plus 1 over, this one will now be a 3. 3 to the power 1 is just a 3. Times 1, so I can just leave it because it is times 1. But if there was any other number apart from 1, you should follow board mass. Meaning you have to start with multiplication, then addition. But since this one is just 1 multiplied by 1, there's no problem. You can just leave it like that. At this point, I'm adding a whole number and a fraction. I should think of the lowest common multiple, LCM. So, we are going to do this. The LCM, so since this is fraction, make this one as a fraction as well. Over 1, so that you have a fraction. 1 and 3, LCM is 3. You ask yourself, how many ones are in 3? It is 3. 3 times the top number, the numerator. 
So 3 times this 9 will give us 27. Plus 3 into 3, it is 1. Then 1 times 1 will give us a 1. Add on top. 27 plus 1 will give us 28 over 3. You can now leave it in mixed fraction. How many 3's are in 28? You are going to get 9 of them. The remainder will be 1 over 3. This will be the correct answer. So the way we are going to give you this will be at any stage here, at this stage or this stage, we are going to give you what we call method mark 1. And since the answer is correct, answer mark will be 1 you get the entire two marks. I hope we are together. Let's move on to the second question. Number two. Number two says we should now simplify. Okay, so simplify two. Then we have x plus three y. Then we have minus three. We have 4x minus 2. This was given two marks as well. This time around, we are not evaluating. We are simplifying, reducing the number of terms. That is simplification. So since I've got brackets here, that is my starting point. Whenever you have brackets, that is your starting point. Remember, this is algebra. So 2 times x. This will give me 2x. Two, 2 times x is 2x. Then 2 times 3y. There's a plus here. So plus 6. 2 times this is 6. Then the y. You are done here. The brackets have gone. Just like that minus 3 times 4. This will give you 12. There is x here. Add x. This negative and negative will result into positive. Don't forget those things. Then 3 times 2 will give me a 6. Are we together? So the brackets at this stage, they've gone. This times this is this, this times this will give me this, minus this times this will give me 12x, negative negative will give me plus, this uh, 3 and 2 will give me 6. At that point, the next step is to group them, like terms together. So I've got this one, 2x, which is the other pair, it is here. So I'll say 2x. Then I've got this, negative 12x. Please, you are simplifying. You are not solving. Therefore, don't change the sign. Because some of you have got that habit of saying, oh, since this negative 12 here will come here, therefore the negative will be positive. No. So this here, then this here. Next, I've got plus... 6y is just alone. Then I've got this one plus 6. Like terms can be added. They can also be subtracted. So these two I can subtract. What is 2 minus 12? It will be negative 10. This one has a positive. Different signs subtract. 12 take away 2 is 10. Get the sign from the bigger number. These two, I've got x. Then I've got plus 6y. I've got plus 6. Are you seeing that? What can you do at this stage? Nothing. You can only maybe divide by the common denominator. But please leave it there. There is no problem. Arrangement also doesn't matter at this point. You can start with a 6. Followed by this, then this, but at least you leave them in this order. X in front, then Y, then the constant. I hope this one is clear. 
let's move on to number three. So this two marks here will give you the method mark here, one. The answer mark, since it is also correct, will give you one. So this is a saying omission of essential working who result in loss of marks. This is what they mean. When you just go direct from here, you go direct to this. Do you think you are going to get this? This is it won't give you that. How did you find this without the method? Have you seen that? So this will give you that. Let's look at the third question. Third question says, number three, factorize. Factorize completely. Okay. What are we factorizing completely? 3x squared minus 27. We are told to factorize. Are you seeing the stems of the question here? There, evaluate. Here, simplify. Here, factorize. Not only factorizing here, but completely, just to be done completely. Well, this is another question under algebra. So we have 3x squared minus 27. When you are told to factorize, you should remember the types of factorization. We have four of them. We have common factorization, difference of two squares, quadratic factorization, and grouping. So, which type of factorization is this? whereby you have got two terms and always separated by a minus. This is called difference of two squares, meaning expressing everything in square form. Now, look at the numbers that we have, 3 and 27. Can I express 3 in square form or 27 in square form? Not at all. With that in mind, then they are saying, I have to perform common factorization first before difference of two squares. This was also given two marks. Common factorization. I can see that 3 here is common, right? So I'll say 3 outside. Here I'll remain with it, x squared minus 3 into 27. How many times? It will be 9. I've seen that. Now I can say 3, open, this side I've got x squared minus 9 inside. This is now difference of two squares because I can express 9 in form of a square. x is already squared, so I'll say x squared minus 9 will be written 3 squared. You see that? 3 squared is 9. Now that everything is in square form, square, square, I'll leave out the squares. We just get the bases. You getting that? We just get the bases. So I have three here. The first pair will be x here minus three. The other pair, you just change the sign, which is x plus three. You are done. This is completely, you get your full two marks. Would you like to learn more? Would you like to learn more? I'm going to end here. Please, if you have not yet joined in our groups, you are missing out. We are going to finish. Otherwise, I'm going to end here. All right? Join our WhatsApp learning groups, reliable ones, I must tell you. So, current subject are, one, we have English language, two, we have mathematics, three, we have science, this science is physics and chemistry, four, we have biology, and those who are taking additional mathematics, it is also available at a very affordable 
price. Please contact me immediately on zero seven 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 four four eight four four zero. WhatsApp me on this number. Details will be given. You'll be able to receive well explained videos, exercise, pamphlets, notes, and the test will be given to you. There will be no need of you attending other lessons. I must assure you, until the final day of your exam. Thank you very much for watching.